the dark side. How many other Haven't been told by the council. The anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Uh, my characters aren't humans right Okay, again, but you gotta think about it this way too when it comes to aliens. Like, they all have a certain way to act, the certain behavior they have to, they have, right? So when you think of it, when you set up your world, right, this is where your world setting comes into big play. World building, excuse me. When it comes there, you got to be like, okay, everybody must know what the aliens are there for, what their social, social structure is, how the world looks, and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be right away. You know, some of the times you used to see, like, a character, and it builds up like, oh, this guy is so great. And then you meet another character where he's like, oh, he's a petty little, you know, merchant. I'm the real leader. I'm the gladiator. Or whatever. You know what I mean? There's movies where they show aliens and they think, oh, my God, they're so badass. But then you meet another alien the same race, and then you see, oh, man, this guy's on the bottom of the food chain. This guy's way better than him. Like, I'm going to stick with that. So as long as you build your world correctly, everything will fall into place. Yeah, when I, when I read it, I get into detail. I take notes whenever I read stuff now because I like to go back and see what makes – because I, I do a lot of editing, which you can see if you go to Fiverr or Etsy. I do a lot of editing on there. And when I do editing, what I do first is I say make sure the plot makes sense. Do the characters act the way the characters are supposed to? Do they say what they're supposed to? And would they act that way, right? Because a lot of times I read my mom's book and she just threw stuff in there, but I'm like, mom, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be doing that. Like your character would not do that. That does not make sense. Like your, your character was attacked, almost killed. She wouldn't run to the, the, the beach and then start talking to a guy, you know? I know CPR, so it'll be fine. Let me know if you need help. No, you just want my lips on your lips. <laughs> Go away. I'm a virgin. Uh, once again, I am writing a story that I sold on Fiverr. Uh, he wanted a superhero story at uh, the superhero controls Fighter and Ice. If you guys know Overwatch, I kind of have like an idea of he controls fire in his left hand, ice in his right hand. And he can shoot it out without a backpack or anything like that. Um... He got the powers through an accident. He created this backpack that controls fire and ice. He go here's an explosion, goes in to help people. And when he goes in to help somebody, he meets a shadow that is bad, as he thinks. And it, it kind of uh, explosion happens, and all this rubble falls on him. It breaks his uh, invention on him, and he gets infused. He, that's why he has the name infusion or uh, fusion. He gets infused with fire and ice, so now he doesn't need a backpack or anything like that. Uh, and then he pretty much vows that he's going to stop this shadowy figure from hurting anyone else since a lot of people got injured and the explosion at the end uh, hurt people. Pretty much he hacks into the FBI six months later trying to find out who this shadowy figure is, but they also know that they are after him once they saw him use his powers over there. They gave him the nickname, the shadowy figure. They gave him the nickname of Noche. And the main character got the name of Fusion. So that's how the nickname, that's how the names get, uh, they get their names. Pretty much uh, the FBI find out that they are being hacked and they track him down. And he uh, makes like a, a safe room where he sneaks out, gets to the street. As he gets to the street, there are too many FBI agents all around. They see him, and they try to stop him, but he makes a giant ice wall, and he escapes. He gets a motel, and while he's in the motel room, he is creating, uh, trying to work on how to, like, capture a shadow, right? Because if you're going to find a shadow, the shadow is like a non-figure, so he tries to stop the figure and does his best to do it. Um, so that's what he's doing until there's a fire at a park. Once there's a fire at a park, he goes to uh, help the people, knowing that it's probably a trap by the FBI, which it is. He saves some people and stops the whole fire, but in doing so, the FBI agents capture him. He wakes up, finds out the truth about the Noche, shadow guy, that its name is Sombre Flores, and she's a traitor and suicide bombed the building, but somehow she became a shadow instead. So they find out she's at the Statue of Liberty. She goes there. He stays behind uh, to try to figure out how to capture the thing. They have an orb that's supposed to capture him, but they want to take her out into a chamber and do studies on her. So here, uh, the part I'm on now is that they are trying to capture her right now. So uh, let's continue.